What's up everybody? This is your local realtor, Betty Garza, right here in South Florida. Today's video is about the pros and cons about the city of Port St. Lucie. We're heading there today. I am on my way, so I will be right back. What's up everybody, we are back and we have arrived here in Port St. Lucie. I took our local highway, which is the Turnpike, to get here and let's get started. So if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Betty Garza, your local realtor right here in South Florida. And if you're looking for everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, playing, living, working right here in South Florida, definitely you'll want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video, which is weekly. Guys, me and my team specialize in helping people relocate to these areas. We get phone calls, emails, text messages every day, and we absolutely love it. So we can't help unless you do one of those three or just click on the link below. Set up a one-on-one -on -one with me via Zoom. Would love to connect and help you relocate here. All right, guys. So today we're talking about the pros and cons of Port St. Lucie. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? Okay, so first pro that I want to touch base on with Port St. Lucie, I'm actually located right here in one of the local neighborhoods. This neighborhood is right off of Port St. Lucie Boulevard, one of the main roads in this area, which is Crosstown. And the first pro is affordability. So the reason why a lot of people tend to move or relocate to Port St. Lucie is the affordability of the prices. So the prices in Port St. Lucie vary. According to Redfin, the median sold price in Port St. Lucie is 375,000. Now, other areas that are in close proximity of Port St. Lucie are Palm Beach County, Martin County. Those prices are a little higher. So in Port St. Lucie, with the median price being 375,000, most people tend to relocate here for that reason. Also here in Port St. Lucie, you can find a variable, well actually different, just different types of homes that you can purchase. A lot of them are single family homes and they are located on large lots, just like these houses right here in this area. You see how there is no zero lot line. There are you know, plenty of space in between homes, in front of homes, in the back of homes. Some people, you know, they desire to have large backyards, things like that. And you can find that with in Port St. Lucie. And so with the price being 375, even new construction guys homes uh, you can find in Port St. Lucie starting in the upper 300s to, you know, low to mid 400s brand new homes so you know homes in port st lucie tend to vary from the late 90s to the early 2000s all the way to today and today we are in the end of march 2023 so that's my first pro is affordability okay so this brings me to con number two guys we're going to be jumping all over port st lucie today i want to give you guys a real feel of what it's like to live here what it's like to you know drive around look here so Con number, sorry, con number one, if I messed up prior. Con number one is development, construction. Port St. Lucie is a city that is growing very rapidly, very quickly and largely. So in order to keep up with the demand, development and construction is something that must happen. So as you can see behind me, I'm located right in a neighborhood with different homes that were built in different times and stuff like that. But right here, this could be happening in within your neighborhood is new homes being built, new neighbors. Guys, I can say this is a con. Maybe you don't want a new house being built next to you because Port St. Lucie does have land that is still available for, that is owned currently that, you know, sometimes will be sell, sold by the current owner to new owners to then develop and build a home. This is a con because maybe you don't want to have new construction next to you, though it could also be seen in a positive light that the community continues to grow that people are still relocating to the city because it's a good city to live in and the diversity also 
it is you can tell or you can the good thing about it is that home values continue to go up and also with home development comes with commercial development different retail stores availability restaurants things to do are all things that are happening within the city of port st lucie so that's con number all right guys so now it brings me to pro number two when relocating or thinking about living in port st lucie and that is there is always something to do uh, there is so many things available to do in Port St. Lucie for whatever type of buyer you are looking to relocate in Port St. Lucie. I'm talking there are parks, there are reserves, there are places just like where I'm located right now, which is the PGA Golf Club. So plenty of golf. This is a beautiful club right here behind me you have the driving range you have people going by that are headed to the different holes in the course just absolutely gorgeous even on a day like this where i honestly thought it was going to rain it is super sunny the wind is blowing so i might have to finish this video in the car because i'm afraid that you guys won't be able to hear me throughout the rest of the video but the thing about port st lucie's is always something to do as i'm driving around throughout this city there are people on bikes, people walking, people running. Um, there are places where you can hike, you can go kayaking, whatever it is that you're interested in, Port St. Lucie offers that to you. So especially if you're an outdoorsy person, uh, there are local parts where, parks where you can take the kiddos. Um, if you have people in town, you wanna have a barbecue, throw a party, whatever the case might be, celebrate a birthday anniversary whatever it is there's a place in port st lucie for you to do so and it's absolutely you should check it out so i always recommend when thinking about relocating to a new city go into town check out that city take a look around get to know the areas um if it's a certain you know job that's bringing you to the uh, city check it out check out where you want to be where you want to live how far and what's available in there your everyday things that you're going to be doing grocery stores whatever it might be you're definitely going to want to check that out as far as in port st lucie and day-to-day -day activities or things that you have to do they have it all the local grocery stores are Publix, when dixie um, they have walmart so everything is available and close by all right guys i definitely wanted to keep hopping around port st lucie but it is very windy today and i'm just afraid you're not gonna be able to hear me i don't have my mic attached today so i you know i feel like the information's very important but i put clips in here i've showed you different areas and what i'm talking about so now we just talked about pro number two let's talk about con number two it kind of relates to the same thing Port St. Lucie doesn't offer you any local beaches specific to this city, though there are local beaches very close by. Depending where you're located, uh, right now, you know, the PGA Golf Club is west. It's on the west side of Port St. Lucie, the northwest. So to get to the beach, it would probably take you about 20, 25 minutes, just kind of depending on traffic and uh, how that's flowing. It could take you a little longer, but if you're more on the east side of Port St. Lucie, then maybe it's not such a far drive to get to the local beaches, which would be like Jensen, Fort Pierce. Uh, Stewart has some beautiful beaches as well. So that's my con number two is there are no specific beaches to Port St. Lucie, though they're not a far drive away. So that could be another thing when you're visiting in town and trying to get to know the area and where you want to live definitely take a ride to the beach you'll see that it's not it shouldn't be like a deal breaker but if you're one that has to be on the beach all the time within steps away or within a very 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 short drive maybe looking on the east part of port st lucie might be something that you're looking for or maybe in the other surrounding uh, cities that are in close proximity that do offer that option pro number three with port st lucie if you're thinking about relocating uh, and definitely don't forget the link in the description below. You can set up a one-on-one -on -one with me in case you have any questions about any topics I'm talking about here, guys. I can't help you unless you reach out. And me and my team, we absolutely love it. We're obsessed with every aspect of real estate and helping people relocate here. So we look forward to hearing from you. Pro number three with Port St. Lucie is location. So whatever is bringing you to Florida, uh, whether it's the fact that we have a ton of theme parks located here and you're one that loves those theme parks and uh, likes to take a vacation with the family, 
Port St. Lucie isn't that far from Orlando and the Kissimmee area. Depending on traffic, depending when you leave, uh, how it goes, maybe you could make it there in an hour. I don't know what kind of driver you are. I know, you know, sometimes I like to go a little faster than other times, but anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, probably about an hour, hour and a half away. Guys, not a far drive because remember, Port St. Lucie is north of Palm Beach County, north of Martin County. Uh, so it's closer to the Orlando area, which also offers an airport if you're one that travels to go to work because the other airports are PBI, which is a lot closer, probably about a 40, 45 minute drive. And then you have Fort Lauderdale, Miami, which are south. Miami's probably a little bit of a further drive but you know the point is that you're located within an area you can shop around for different times and prices and airlines because the location is perfect you're located to different areas you know port st lucie is a big big city it's just centrally located to everything so orlando is one of them if you are one that has family and friends in palm beach county and maybe you're moving to port st lucie because of what i mentioned before affordability house size a uh, land size whatever it might be maybe you're working in port st lucie but family lives in palm beach county it's still not a far drive. So location with Port St. Lucie for me is definitely a pro. You know, with it developing and growing, it'll have so much to offer over time. It does have new construction that's available. And I think because Port St. Lucie is still developing and growing, you have the option of, you know, new construction or resale. Those are two different types of homes that we can look into when you're visiting and thinking about relocating here. So location for me is pro number three. And final and last but not least is con number three, which is traffic. <clears throat> so um, as I'm driving through Port St. Lucie, there are definitely some areas where the traffic is flowing and it was great. But when I got closer to the I-95 area, which in Port St. Lucie, it kind of flip flops in Palm Beach County, your I-95 highway is on the east side of the county and Turnpike is on the west. But when you get to Port St. Lucie, the Turnpike is a little more east than the I-95, the I-95 is a little more west. So as I was heading west, because I just noticed there is a little bit more development going on on the west side of Port St. Lucie, that the traffic got a little bit worse. Trying to deal with the construction, plus the traffic. And remember, I-95 is the highway that is completely free. Turnpike is the highway where you have to either sign up for Sun Pass or pay the tolls. So maybe that might be the case. Some people prefer to take 95 and that's why the traffic was a little bit heavier or it could be the time of day that I'm filming this video that um, it was kind of close to lunch hour. So maybe that's the aspect. So whatever the case might be for me, con number three in Port St. Lucie is the traffic dealing with the different aspects as far as construction, different people driving um, and things like that or the time of day. So maybe just avoiding the roads on certain times of the day like rush hour in the morning, in the afternoon when people are going and leaving work and maybe the lunch hour just like I drove through but not totally horrible where you know I was bumper to bumper or at a complete stop. It was nothing like that. It was just, you know, it got a little bit more clustered compared to other areas as when I was east, when I was showing you guys the different neighborhoods and you know development and stuff like that. But yes, so that's con number three, which is traffic in Port St. Lucie. All right, guys, so those are my pros and cons of Port St. Lucie. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.